We have uh, some final words uh, from the uh, fathers uh, of the feast, the head of the School of Security Studies, the principal of King's College London, and the uh, chairman of uh, Reaction. Over to them. Thank you for your attention this afternoon. Okay, um, thank you very much, Adam, um, and many thanks to, to Laurie and, and to our students uh, just before that for helping us draw to a close the afternoon in such an insightful and impactful way. Um, we've had some great speakers today, some great discussions, and I'm sure we've all gained new insights into the ongoing war, where it's all headed, the longer term implications for Ukraine and for defence in Europe and, and international security uh, more, more broadly. Um, so we're just going to give some brief remarks here and some brief, brief thank, thank yous. Uh, I think Ian mentioned this morning at the start that we had um, six weeks to organise this event, starting back in, what does that put us, into early, early April or, or whatever. Um, and, and Lord Salisbury and Ian came up to have a chat with myself and, and, and John Gearson. Um, and I think to pull this off within 42 days of the decision to go for it has been no mean feat. Uh, and everyone, uh, I think, uh, organizing today across the two organizations clearly deserve a good round of applause. So there are many people to thank from across Reaction and, and across Kings. Um, on the Reaction side, there's been literally an army of people uh, involved, but let me thank those we at Kings have worked with most closely. Uh, Ian Martin, of course, uh, Lord Salisbury, Nicole Gray, Conchar, Olivia Archdeacon, and, and Steve Moore. There are others, but those are the people that we dealt with most closely. Um, it's been very rewarding working with Reaction over the past few weeks, and I hope it's not the last time that we do so. Um, perhaps an annual event on the defense of Europe would be good, or something on the, the future of NATO, I think an earlier speaker uh, mentioned as well. On the King's side, many thanks to my uh, co-conspirator, John there in the front, John Gearson, to Lizzie Elland, our, flap, uh, our school comms lead who never, never flaps, and her great communication team. Uh, to Julie Weldon, our faculty comms lead, to Emma Hardy, the, 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 the college, uh, on the college, side, Hilary Briffer at the Centre for Defence Studies, Ruth Denton with King's Venues, and Alan Gilbert and the entire King's security team. We also need to thank the speakers, of course, uh, especially the Secretary of State for Defence, Ben Wallace, who's now gone off to Washington, and the Ukrainian Ambassador, Vadim Pristako. Uh, the interviewers are guest compares, Mark and Adam, uh, and you, the audience, of course. You know, without the audience, we don't have events like this. Watch this space, I think, for future events on this and uh, similar topics. So many thanks for coming, um, for helping to make the conference a such a success. I'll leave my comments there and hand over to Lord Salisbury. So Robert, please. Um, well, when you were brief but comprehensive, and I'm not going to repeat the list of facts, I think perhaps uh, one thing you'll allow me to say is that behind, as is well known, uh, every good woman, there's a good man. In this case, behind every good man, there's a good woman, and we mustn't forget Fiona Martin, not only for uh, doing so much <laughs> to make this work, uh, but also putting up with the vagaries of our husband throughout the last 42 days. Fiona, it's been a pleasure to watch you at work, as always. Um, it has been a great pleasure for us at Reaction to be able to work with you, Win, and all your team. Uh, it's almost as though we'd been working together for, for years instead of merely for six weeks. And I'm delighted that you agree with us that it would be a shame to throw away what is clearly a winning formula. Uh, and we accept with the greatest of pleasure your implied invitation uh, that we should repeat this performance, perhaps uh, thinking about the future of NATO at a future date. And uh, if we have as distinguished an audience uh, then as uh, we've had now, and so successful a group of speakers, uh, then this will be the beginning of something really, really great. So uh, I would like to echo, uh, of course, uh, everybody's, <clears throat> all the thanks that you've uttered today. Uh, and above all, to you, the audience, who've made this such a success. Uh, it's been a great pleasure to be here, and thank you to Kings for being such splendid and, uh, and admirable partners. May I just add one other thing? It would be odd for a commercial organization like Reaction not to give itself a puff, and certainly even odder for the chairman to fail to do so. 
But uh, we thought that this was such an important uh, subject and that the timing was so important that uh, in spite of our extraordinary struggle to break even, we have done this on a non-commercial basis. And I hope that if there is any uh, surplus from today's events, uh, that we will at least have a modest sum to give to a Ukrainian charity nominated by the Ukrainian ambassador. And I was particularly grateful to him for coming, as well as, of course, to the Secretary of State. Thank you for your kindness. Now, my name is Shidesh Kipur. I'm the president and principal of King's College. You might be wondering, how many people does it take to close a conference? But look, the reason I really wanted to be here, because I, I couldn't be here for most of the day, other than Sir Laurie's speech. Uh, and um, I remember it was about six weeks ago when, when you called. And the principal's office gets a lot of such requests. We'd like to organize a conference. So I thought, all right, he's probably talking about summer of 2023. So I, I think it is remarkable, but quite fitting for what is needed here that we've been able to move so quickly, and particular thanks to our partner's reaction. And perhaps it was you who, who prodded us to, to move so quickly. Um, but the one thing I'm reminded of is, is some of us who are old enough uh, would remember that when the Berlin Wall fell, there was, there was a little aphorism that was going around, the end of history, uh, as people said then. And I'm reminded, uh, as someone else wrote, that on the February 24th, history is back with a vengeance. Who would have thought that we would have needed to assemble like this in a hurry to talk about the defense of Europe? But I'm pleased that we could. And I think this is where I'd like to acknowledge that even though we've been able to come together for six weeks, we've been preparing for this for 60 years. The fact that we can convene scholars and expertise of this level is not an accident. It is the work that was started by Sir Michael Howard, ably taken forward by Sir Laurie Friedman, uh, and it is because of the depth of that work and the comprehensiveness of those connections that we could be here, that we could talk about this. But I would like to add another element. Of course, we could just have been a very good policy or a think tank. Uh, but we're more than that. And I think what has also happened here today, and I certainly got a brief glimpse of it, is, is the declaration from our students. And, and the thing that touched me about their declaration as I read it were two aspects. Um, one, they reminded me, who's sort of a middle generation here, is that they had grown up never knowing war in Europe. Um, and that's something to reflect upon. But the other thing that the declaration ends with saying is, of course, that today we are preoccupied with, with the Russia-Ukraine war. But it doesn't take away the main challenges and realities of the 21st century, which probably likely will still remain climate change, failed states, and perhaps the accelerated and coming great power competition that is ahead of us. This might just be a catalyst that brings all those things forward and makes them all the more important. But I'm pleased that we could get together and discuss this. Many people have been thanked, but perhaps not uh, you Wynne Bowen and John Gerson, and also my special thanks to our partners at Reaction, Ian Martin and Lord Robert Salesbury. Thank you to all of you. Uh, thank you to the audience. May I also put a special shout out to our venues and security who had to go the extra mile to make this event possible, especially with all the VIPs who showed up today. And with that, uh, may I wish you a very good evening. And for those who are invited, a reception on the eighth floor. Thank you very much.